Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your love reading for the month of September 2020. If you are a Sagittarius a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this reading is for you. And if you're on the cusp of a Scorpio or a Capricorn, you may want to watch a Capricorn or Scorpio's video to see if they also resonate with you. These are very general. They are not going to resonate with all of you. So if you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below. My website and everything else is in the description box. Okay, Sagittarius, I had already pre-shuffled for you and um, I mainly use a Lenormand again. So I focused uh, your side to be here. This is your side and this is uh, the other person's side. If you are single, maybe this is where you're what your past you were dealing with and or what happens during the month and then you meet someone and this happens okay um, take how it resonates some of you might find that this is your side and this is the other person's side okay so i mean energies are interchangeable as always right i'm kind of standing up for a second okay to see if okay <laughs> my tripod's like much higher okay i'm gonna start with this side okay Sagittarius on your side or this person's side I did pull the card trust okay so perhaps it's time to trust the process or trust whatever the universe has in store for you um, maybe it's saying to trust this connection or maybe it's trust your intuition whatever you're feeling about this person or about this connection or this potential connection or whether it's even about your own self you know if you're single that's what it's probably telling you what to do okay um, I'm going to start here. So I drew the dog, the book, the birds, the house. I hope my microphone's working because I had it on yesterday. I think it wasn't plugged in all the way. Cause I was like, when I listened to them back, I was like, Oh, I sound like I don't have my, my microphone wasn't working. I don't know if it's working. I, I mean, I don't feel like testing it right now. So I guess I'll just find out after I'm done. Sorry. I also drew the birds in the house and then I have the book again. And the crossroads okay even though it's a staircase it's the same as um the other um lenormand decks okay so you have two books here all right so having the book twice on your side that kind of shows me something is either hidden or something is sort of like unknown or a secret okay or that you there's a lot of needing more information about this person or this connection in general so the dog can be um, a third party. It's usually known as the other man versus the snake that is usually the other woman. So I'm gonna say this real quick here. Some of you, it doesn't matter what gender you are, but let's say you're a woman and, and you're, the, let's say this is the man and you're the woman or Sagittarius women, just, this is just an example. So you're the other, you're the other woman. And um, I mean, he, you, let's say you're both taken. Uh, this person is the uh, man on the side and you are the woman on the side. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? Um, again, it, take how it resonates. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting because you have two cards that showed up as third party issues. Okay. Sometimes that's what they mean. Okay. Um, so we have the other woman here, the other man, or just another third party in general. Doesn't really matter what gender you are. Okay. Some of you are in same sex relationships. What's interesting here is on your end, you know, you have the dog and, uh, it's next to the book. Okay. So the dog and book shows, um, Sometimes it means a secret lover or a friend, like being very loyal to the truth or being very loyal to the facts, um, wanting more information about this person or friend. Uh, for others, I feel like the book might be showing being very open to this person or that this is what you really desire. You wish they were more open to you or maybe that's how they perceive you. This could be how they feel about you. Like this is their perception because this is you and this is what you think about them because this is what's showing what you think about them, vice versa. So we do also have the birds in the house. The birds is a very stressful type of card. It could be like chaos um fluctuations emotions all over the place right and then we have uh the house so the house can be um, a marriage stability um firm foundations home um family in general like mar like i said marriage and family something behind it could be so i, I really see this as a uh, could be sorry private matter so stressing over a private matter or worries about stability right things are things are very um, unstable 
And then we have the book in Crossroads. So this is needing more information before making a decision. Okay, that's very, very um, pretty out there, pretty, pretty obvious here, okay? And the dog in Crossroads, when we look at these across as your outcome, this is like a few meanings here is wanting to go your own way or choosing more than one person. And see, we have the book across from the book. That's very interesting. So this is like learning the truth or a lot of unknowing. It's like you're stressed out about who to choose, right? Especially with the birds across from the crossroads, okay? Or which way to go. You're not sure which way to go because you don't have all the facts just yet. Or that's what you need at least. You need, you need more information. You need more clarity, okay? And the other storyline that's pretty obvious here is uh, sort of, I want to say, waiting to see what will happen between, between you and this person because this could very well be a third party involved with too many secrets or some kind of hidden information, all right? I feel like the trust card might be related to wanting to take a risk or a leap of faith because it is associated with the full card. So it's like this sort of tells me to trust or maybe that's what you wish the other person would do. Like, why can't you just trust this connection? Why don't you open up to me? I, I want to make a decision here, but I don't know which way to go. And if you're on the cusp of a Scorpio, Scorpio had some sort of not knowing what to do either. Or there was like, what did I call it? Like losing patience because somebody had to make a decision, right? So if you're on the cusp, this might be more accurate for you. But regardless of that, you definitely want to take this leap of faith. So I don't think, I, I feel like you're wanting to be the open book here, more, more likely than this person. But let's take a look at their side. So they have the card observe, right? All right. So, um... This is related to the hangman card. So this person is sort of hanging around, reflecting and observing this connection or relationship. Um, I don't think they're taking action right now. And of course, um, or maybe they will, but right now they're just observing everything and or maybe they're over analyzing the new perspective that they have about you two, right? And then we have the garden in the ring here. All right, the garden can be other people, uh, announcements, kind of uh, the way you present something, something coming out, announcements, the so, you know, social media, and the ring is marriage, promise, contracts, commitment, shared, something, mutual feelings. So maybe you met this person through social media um, or you do. So if you're single, you might meet, you know, it's pretty obvious. I mean, most people meet on social media now, some kind of groups or dating website. It's all part of social media, right? But this is also shared public opinions. So it's like you, the energy that I'm getting now, it's, it's like you both share the same passions. Now, if you haven't met this person, I feel like that's something that you're gonna discover is like, wow, we have the same passions. We have the same passions in life. We're both activists, for example, or we both care about the world or we're both, or we're both vegan or we're both meat eaters, whatever. It's like, oh, we're both into yoga or we're both, tarot card readers, whatever. There's something in common that you have with this person and maybe that's what brings this or makes this connection feel so strong between you two. But this is also like a con, because it's a it's called a, like a common purpose. And you know, sometimes this is a wedding though because the garden can be um, beautiful outdoor meetings and then you have the ring. So sometimes, sometimes this pair is an actual wedding. So I don't know if, so for some of you, this person might be married or maybe you're both taken because you have a decision to make. So this is another storyline I'm getting here, okay? But what I also see is this person might be presenting out in the open to other people like on social media that they are happily married or like putting on some kind of facade, right? And the ring and garden also is sometimes soulmates who have a divine purpose because their relationship will affect others in a very harmonious way. When we have the garden, sometimes I do see it that way, but it's that's usually not like the popular meaning with these two. So, but, but for some, this is like a destined connection. And for some of you, this is definitely a kind of like a, I guess you want to call it like a, fl a twin flame sort of situation. 
And we do have the sun and the snake also. So the sun is happiness, joy. The, the snake is like strong desires. Sometimes it can be man manipulation. I cannot talk right now. <laughs> there you go again, my mouth. Um, but I feel like that's showing they really do desire you. Or that your energy is way too powerful for them to ignore because whether you know this person or you're about to meet this person, this person will really desire you. And if you already know this person, they really do desire you. If you know this person and you're not with them, or if there's been a, a timeout, let's say, where you're just talking, there's a huge feeling of feeling like a very strong connection here. Very, very strong, especially with the sun across from the ring. So they do desire you. But there could be other people in the picture with that snake and garden. There's other people involved. So like I said, there might be for some a third party. Of course, there's always some of you that are going through that. You know, out of, you know, what is it? Like two out of 10 people now probably go through a third party situation, I'm guessing. <laughs> but yeah, regardless of what's going on, your energy is very powerful. It's too powerful for them to ignore. And the ring, if we look at these three, which is interesting, I want to kind of focus on these three, the ring, snake, and heart, right? Isn't that pretty? The swans, that's... Out of all my Lenormand decks, this is like my favorite, besides my fairy Lenormand, this is like my most beautiful day. Isn't that pretty? Look at these swans. They're so cute. I love birds. Anyway, um, <laughs> but all three of those shows that they desire to marry you one day. Maybe that's something they think about in the future. Um, or they desire to commit to a third party, okay? So if you are the, th and I'm not, um, I'm not saying it's wonderful to cheat, but I don't judge either. So let's just say um, if you are the third party, then they really would rather be with you than the person they're with. That's what I'm kind of seeing here. So <sighs> another message I am getting on this side as well is that if they are married or taken, whether they're not legally married or not, if they are married or taken, I feel like the person that they are with is sort of like a manipulative karmic partner that they feel they can't break away from because they're so worried about how other people will feel, like the family will be dis uh, disappointed or whatever, their friends. They don't want to be the bad guy or the bad girl. They don't want to be the jerk that causes the breakup or divorce, etc. All right. I say that because the mice is above the heart card as well on their end. So, and the mice across from the ring is an unhealthy or unhappy relationship or marriage so yeah so they're not happy versus you're just waiting i feel like you are hidden and maybe some of you don't know that they're married maybe that's what it is there's all this you know the book is secrets i do have the book double times and decisions but you're trusting that things will turn out but it's stressing you the hell out all right, because you're not sure, do, are we going to go forward? Are we going to, if you're not talking, this is just an example. Are we going to talk again? Is he or she going to let me know what's up? Are the, is he, I kind of got the same kind of similar messages with Scorpio's reading. So again, if you're on the cusp, do watch Scorpio's. Um, only if you're on the cusp, okay? Or maybe if your moon or rising is Scorpio, whatever. You know how it goes. Um, so the mice across from the ring on their end is an unhealthy relationship, but it's also a lack of commitment. Wait a minute. Okay. I'm getting a sudden, a sudden other story that I'm picking up on. All right. I never, I haven't seen this kind of story in a while. Um, so the other story I'm picking up on their end or this side, this person is about to get married. So they're not married yet, but maybe they're planning too soon. Like this person's already engaged and is having now second thoughts because because of you or ever since they met you. Ooh, okay. Now, if again, this could be your side and that could be theirs, but I just picked that up now because if they're not married already, sometimes this is a wedding and now they're observing and kind of going, you know, again, it's like the hangman. They're seeing a new perspective. Like, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know if I'm too, I don't know if I want to go through with this or not. Not saying they're, they're going, they're not going to, this is, this is only going to resonate for a few of you. I don't think it's going to resonate with that many of you, or maybe you're about to get married and the decision lies with you. So maybe they're thinking, oh, this person is about to get married, but.
but I want them to not. And so, and this person's like, well, now they met. So maybe you're getting married. Somebody might be about to get married, maybe in a few months, maybe in six months, maybe in one year, someone just might've just gotten engaged. And now they're like wondering if they should stay engaged or still follow through with the wedding. Unless this is what you're going through again, it could be vice versa. But the garden, like I said, the garden and rain could be weddings. Or maybe this person just got married and then they met you not long after, not expecting this to turn into anything because after all, the dog is just a friend. So you became friends and then there, there became feelings and then you're both, whether you're both taken or not, that's something else that I see here. And it's, yeah, it's like this, whoever this is, they're having an epiphany about your connection now. All right, or maybe you are, and that's why you need to decide. Maybe they're waiting on you. If they're not married, they desire to be with you, okay? Um, I feel like if you're married, you might be feeling your partner is keeping things from you, or maybe you're keeping things from your partner because you really desire someone else that is married. Um, I don't see a breakup or divorce though. If you are with someone, like if you are married and you're wondering how your own marriage is and there's no one else in the picture, uh, cause I do see that for some of you, maybe you're in love with someone else, but you can't say anything about it because you're married and you don't want to lose your, or you're already taken. Uh, it's definitely, this stuff definitely screams third party when I have the book and the dog and the snake and the mice and the ring, <laughs> uh, or a married third party. But I do feel one of you isn't happy. And one of you is trying to maybe keep things inside. If you are married, okay. For those of you that are married and there is no one else, maybe you're trying to, you're stressed out. You're wondering what to do about this. You want to be, I, I pick up right now that you feel like this person's more of a friend. You want to be lovers and it feels too roommate-ish, like a roommate. Maybe you've been married for a long time and you just want to spice things up, but you're not sure what to do, but you're trusting that things will work out and maybe your partner's just a little over analytical and, and they do desire you too, but it's like you're both kind of not sure what to do here, but I'm not seeing a breakup. So, and like I said, if you, if you are seeing somebody, I don't see them breaking up with their people either or their person either, even if they are married, I don't see that happening yet. So if you're hoping for that, I'm not seeing that either. I'm not seeing a breakup with anyone yet. Um, But again, if they're not married, they, I feel like they still desire to be with you. Okay. If this is not somebody that you are with. And again, their, their outcome is the heart and garden. So this person does want to express their love for you. Okay. Being that I do have these, cause this would be the outcome and this one would be the outcome on your end. So they do want to open up to you or you want to open up to them. You definitely want to open up, but you're wondering when, you know, what should I do? Because you feel like this is not, oh, if this is a relationship where you thought it was over, it's not over. So if for some of you, although I'm not seeing you not talking to this person, but let's say, let's say it's been a while since you talked to this person. Maybe you guys, someone ghosted someone. I don't think it's over either. They still think about you then observing constantly thinking. Well, not really the hangman's not always thinking, but still, but again, you have the dog and crossroads. So like I said before, perhaps it's you that hesitates because there's trust issues. Maybe that's what it is or you're waiting for approval or waiting for them to take the lead. Because again, the dog likes to follow. The dog's not a leader. The dog likes to, he needs guidance. He wants someone to take the lead. So you, so, uh, you know, whether this is you or the other person, this person right here, whoever this is, they're waiting for the other person to make the first move or say what's going to, what are their plans? All right. So we have under the deck, we have the whip card. Can we see that? Okay. And then we have the labyrinth. Ooh, that's, these are add-ons. Um, Lenormand deck normally only has 36, but this, uh, this beautiful deck here, he's added more. Okay. So there's more than 36. So we have the whip though. All right. So the whip is arguments, debates, um, anger. This is feeling like stuck. You know, when you go, it's like a labyrinth picture. Um, I love that movie by the way. <laughs> I call it the maze and then we have the wishing well. So it's like having to start all over again because you come to a, an ending and then you got to turn around and do it all over again. So, oh Jesus. Okay. <laughs> this is like a back and forth type of energy. Someone here keeps going back and forth. They keep going back and forth debating whether or not, and it might be you because there's that dog in the crossroads, which, which path do I choose there? Or you're waiting for, <sighs> 
this is about doing all you can think you've done, but having to start all over again, or that there's something or someone else in the way of this connection. Like I said, there's a third party and this other person might be with a karmic partner or you both might be with a karmic partner, both of you. It's like one of you feels like you're stuck in a dead end. That's what this card can mean. Feeling like you're stuck in a dead end and wishing you can just escape, right? Oh, Fox card, maybe I was meant to see that. Not trusting, see there's that suspicion. Yeah, you're not sure if this person is, is uh, you feel stuck right now. If maybe you're both feeling stuck out of a situation you can't get out of. And look at that in the picture. There's one man and three women. <laughs> so I feel like one of you just feel like things, you know, as soon as you get, it's like, uh, what, what is the saying? Two steps forward or one step forward, two steps back. That's how this card is right here. So I feel like Sagittarius, there's still some problems to be solved. Not sure if one of you is blocked or not talking. I'm not really seeing that in the cards here. But if that is going on, um, maybe you're worried if you move forward with this person, things will happen the way it happened before. But anyway, that's what I have for you. I hope that helped. Sorry if it didn't. And again, if you would like your own personal private reading, my links are down below. I will list, I will not. Thank you for listening. I will see you guys on my next video.